I think you'll agree it's a pretty stressful time to be a property owner. The reality is a home owner with a half a million dollar mortgage is facing $12,000 more in repayments over a year. If you're like me, you're one of the 6 million property owners in Australia that currently have a mortgage held against them. And with the cash rate rising at record speed, the forecast for future interest rate rises is looking more and more likely. Yeah, a lot of people will be hurting with that. This isn't going to be the last of the interest rate rises. So with all of that in mind, I really wanted to make this video today to kind of offer a cost covering solution for what's being forecast for the rest of the year. Let's work off this scenario. Let's say you currently have a $500,000 mortgage at a current interest rate of 5%. With scary future projections, it's just a matter of time before you'll potentially be making your repayments at an interest rate of 6%. That's an extra $300 a month, and you might not be in the position today to be able to cover those future costs. So how do we make an extra $300 a month? Well, the solution is actually probably gonna surprise you. I've been doing it for the last two and a half years and it's been working an absolute treat. I'm talking about flipping DVDs on eBay. I know, it sounds super strange, but these things sell like crazy. And just last year, I was able to do $29,000 in sales. <laughs> All right, this is a really good store to start in. I think a really crucial step, guys, is you've just got to put in the reps. You've got to do your research and just scan every single DVD in a thrift store just to gain a bit of knowledge on what sells. TV shows do really well for me. And then random ones like this, the best of 2004 footy show. I picked that one up and I realized it was worth $15 after I scanned it up. I always, always work off a base of around $15 as, a, as, a, as the lowest point. Uh, and then from there, you're going to find some pretty crazy price points the more you keep scanning. But when you take out fees and posts, buying them for a couple of dollars, $15 is a really good starting point. So this one here, Tremors, it's a perfect example. 15 bucks, I'm going to take it for a dollar. Um, but this is the one that really surprised me. The house, um, house on Haunted Hill. Didn't know about this one. It was horror and the horror category sells really well. I mean, sure enough, there you go, $60 plus postage as well for that one there. It's a rare Australian release. Um, so I'm going to add that to my catalogue now of good DVDs that I know to look out for. And this was one that I actually already knew about, the Halloween series. If you can find a complete set or a complete bundle of that, you can go for hundreds of dollars, as you can see there. So that was good. Found three, should sell for about 30. There's a little tip that I've got for you guys in the TV show category. If you want to get out the back of these op shops, you can often go out the back and just ask if they've got any more of a certain TV show if you don't have a complete set on the shelf. And that's what I did. Um, I've got a few seasons of this show. I was just wondering if there are any more. I was trying to complete the set. If they're not out there. Nothing else? No. Nah. ER. ER. Yeah. No, I don't think we've got any more ER. Just no. keep coming in. No stress. So unfortunately on this occasion, the little trick that I do didn't work, but you would be amazed at how many times that has actually paid off. And I've been able to go out and find DVDs, not only of that same season series set, but also for other DVDs worth some really good money as well. So that's one for you guys to try, but this allocation here, have a look at them. $28 spent and we've got a whole stack of really good DVDs. So that was an awesome run. Uh, let's get off to the next one. As good as that was, guys, I really do need to stress though, that wasn't the first thrift store I went in. There's a real slow, monotonous process to checking stores, not finding anything, going to the next one. It does really take some time, which makes it all the more sweeter when you come across big hauls like that. So stay persistent, keep checking, and you'll be amazed at what you'll find. Here's another example of a crazy DVD or Blu-ray on this occasion. It sells for $70, and I was absolutely shocked by that. Region B are the ones in the Blu-ray that plays in Australia. I've been listening to you guys in the comments, and a lot of you have said, Matt, why don't you focus on the Blu-rays? There's some really good come-ups in there, and well, it's a perfect example. I've come up with my first strike, and I think I'm gonna focus on this category a little bit more. As you may have already seen in this video, there are a number of stores locally here that just completely outprice the opportunity to purchase. A dollar a disc in a lot of stores, unfortunately, just means we're not gonna be able to go ahead with any buy. But these ones that we're about to go in now are just the little Nana Pop Shops. They're the small stores, the non-major branded stores, and they generally have some pretty good price points. I haven't been in this one that we're about to go in now for quite a while. Fingers crossed we can get some good deals. So this absolutely shocked me, guys. Four for a dollar. Are you kidding? This has got to be one of the cheapest thrift stores on the Gold Coast, and it's my opportunity to strike. 
I had a look in the horror section because, as you know, that is a very good category to be looking for DVDs. Unfortunately, none on that occasion, but in the TV shows, I found Greatest of the Anatomy, and they should go for about $12 a piece. I'll do them as a bundle, which is a very good way to save on postage, so that should go for about $25. Killing Eve is the $15 scan there, which was quite good, and then I found one other TV show as well to try and get everything for a dollar. Um, it was actually this one here, Hot in Cleveland. It actually sells for 70 if you've got the complete set. So I'll probably try and sell this one for that $15 price point as well. So um, a short, sharp run, but a dollar, that's a huge profit. Look, we didn't find much, but we did find a store that's got some really good price points. So I know now that I can come back here and know that the price of four for a dollar is always going to be available. It then just becomes a bit of a luck of the draw. Are you going in at the right time? I did ask the guys as well if they had anything out the back, which is another little tactic that you can do. Uh, but not on this occasion. But still, we got four, we paid a dollar, and there's a lot of profit in it. So we've been spending all of our time in the thrift stores, but it's not necessarily the best place to buy your DVDs. I actually think you guys should be using Facebook Marketplace to your advantage. If you ask friends and family as well for some DVDs, that could be a good way to just reduce that purchase price, albeit it is still pretty cheap in the thrift stores as well. So you've got plenty of options. We're going to go and do a private pick right now of a contact that I know from my flea markets that I go to on a Sunday. He's got a heap of them at his place, and fingers crossed we can find the $70 that we need to hit the $300 mark. So this was pretty overwhelming, guys. Have a look at the pallets worth of DVDs here. There is so much to pick from, and sometimes it's actually the best way to go about it. Facebook Marketplace buyers, if you can just grab 500 at a time, you can then sit there in the comfort of your own home and just scan all of these DVDs up to try and find the $500 worth of profit like I touched on before. Uh, but this was a really cool little allocation that I was able to pick up. And uh, Bratz was a really good one as well. If you can be finding anything in the Bratz series, uh, that does well. But this is everything that I found. The best of masters of the universe, surely. This is what we've got so far. We've got this little allocation here, Twin Peaks, Life Support, Raising Hope, a couple of different shows there. All sort of single season sets of these ones. Are they masters of the universe, Wizards, Witch and Bratz and a couple of Simpsons? How much are you thinking on your prices? Oh, let's go 50 a DVD, eh? 50 cents a DVD? 50 bucks a DVD? Oh, yeah. 50, 50 bucks a DVD, yeah. yeah. Put, put a pineapple there. I have no idea. I don't normally sell, but I'll... Um, to, to, sell, you know. to sell us. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. You make me an offer. What, what are you doing? Well, how many have we got? We've got... we got... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. I would do, how about 25 bucks? Yeah, done. Happy with that? Yep. Sweet. A huge thank you to Luke at uh, Mixbox Trading at the Carrara Market, someone that I deal with uh, pretty regularly. So to be able to go out to his place and use him as a connection, a source for inventory that I like to sell, it's just a perfect example of what you guys need to be doing. You've got to kind of look at your thrift stores as a bit of an icing on the cake scenario. If you can find these private pick opportunities, you're going to do yourself a whole lot. It's going to be an easier process, basically. Um, there were four DVDs that I found out of that allocation of a $25 spend with Luke. I knew that the Simpsons were going to go well. The seasons 14 and 15 there, they are beautiful. Very, very happy to find them. Uh, should turn into about 20, 25 bucks a piece. Um, we've got He-Man Masters of the Universe. This is a best of series. Um, 10 episodes, I believe, in that set. Goes for about 20 bucks. And then this one, an Aussie comedy show life support. Didn't know this one. Series one as well. So nothing too fancy about it. But there was a comp on eBay for $39 for that one there alone. So uh, awesome, guys. A whole big box of other goodies that you would have seen already. Um, Paid 25 bucks, there's going to be a lot more profit in there. So it only took us 46 cherry-picked DVDs in this video to be able to find $365 worth of clean takeaway profit. Now, the other thing is the sell-through rate. I can tell you after two and a half years of selling the category, these things come back to you really, really quickly if you can just be consistent with your listing on eBay. That is super important. I'm not talking about a day or two. I'm talking about months on end. If you can find a set number to list every single day, find these big allocations of DVDs and just stick with it, you'll get some serious consistent sales and $365 worth of net profit per month to cover those bills like the interest rates that we've got going up. I think this is the perfect side hustle for you guys to focus on. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. I did a really interesting exercise a couple of months ago, which is going onto eBay and seeing what are the most rare DVDs for you to be finding. It's always good for the knowledge bank if you know what to look for. And these are the top 10 DVDs on eBay. So go and check that one out. Enjoy it. We'll see you soon.